Hi everybody, welcome to the class Optical Communication Unit 2 Transmission Characteristics of Optical Fiber. Already we have seen the introduction about attenuation and what are the three basic mechanisms for this attenuation. First one is absorption and scatter. second one is scattering loss and of course third one is bending loss or you can name it as a radiative loss. Under absorption, we have seen three major factors that causes absorption in your optical fiber communication. First, due to intrinsic absorption, that is the material which we are going to use for your optical fiber that causes intrinsic absorption. And the absorption due to impurities is called as extrinsic absorption. And third one is absorption due to atomic defects. In today's class, we are going to see about scattering losses. Scattering losses in a glass arise from microscopic variation in the material density from composition fluctuations and inhomogeneous or defects occurring during fiber manufacture. So these are the two major factors that causes scattering loss in glass in your optical fiber. So these two effects give rise to the refractive index variation occurring within the glass over distance that are small compared with the wavelength. So these two effects that is your composition fluctuations and your defects this leads to the in refractive index variations in your optical fiber that leads to the scattering losses. So we have many types of scattering loss among all this Rayleigh type scattering is commonly occurred in your optical fiber communication. So in case of Rayleigh type scattering there will be a scattering loss due to this index variation and that loss is inversely proportional to wavelength. In particular, if we have to say the Rayleigh scattering loss is inversely proportional to lambda power 4. So it says when the wavelength increases, the losses decreases dramatically. So there are two types of scattering losses. First one linear scattering loss and another one non-linear scattering loss. Among this, linear scattering losses will be commonly occurred in your fiber communication. So under linear scattering loss, we have two types, Rayleigh scattering and May scattering. And today's class, in detail, we are going to see about linear scattering. Linear scattering. So linear scattering due to random refractive index through the material causes some optical power transfer from one propagating mode to another. This tends to attenuation of the transmitting light as the transfer may be to, be to a leaky or a radiated mode which does not continue to propagate within the fiber core but radiate from the fiber. So from this you can understand the linear scattering losses is mainly due to the refractive index variations that leads to the power loss in your propagating mode. So Next, we are going to see the type of linear scattering. The first one is Rayleigh scattering. We all know the real-time example for the Rayleigh scattering is your sky color. The colors of sky are caused by scattering of light. Since there are many atoms present in your atmosphere, the sunlight that interacts with these atoms will produce a scattering. Okay. So, with this basic knowledge, now we will see what is this Rayleigh scattering. Is the scattering of the photons at the random boundaries due to inhomogeneous or randomness of the refractive index fluctuations? The random sc Rayleigh scattering is mainly occur due to the refractive index fluctuations. So during manufacturing of a glass fiber, okay, we have to heat your glass. So the glasses are formed using heat, which caused a random movement of the molecules. And when solidified the molecules, were frozen in their random locations. This yields a random refractive index variations to the materials. So I hope you understood how this Rayleigh scattering occurs in your optical fiber. So when we are heating the glass, so there will be a random movement of the molecules. When I'm going to the solidified process, the molecules are frozen, will be in a frozen state and it will be frozen in, your, in, the, in their random locations. This yields the scattering loss in your optical fiber. So this diagram depicts when a light gets incident in your optical fiber, it gets scattered 
in all directions. So a Rayleigh scattering will be scattered in all directions. So this applies when a wave travels through a medium having scattering objects much smaller than the wavelength. Thus Rayleigh scattering increases with decreases in wavelength and was found to be proportional to lambda power minus 4. In other words, we can say a Rayleigh scattering loss is inversely proportional to lambda power 4. And this can be approximated by the following equation. Loss, that is scattering loss, L is equal to 1.7 into 0.85 divided by lambda, the whole power 4, dv per kilometer. The next type is May scattering. There is a scattering of the photons at the inhomogeneous due to non-perfect cylindrical structure such as regularities in the core cladding interface, core cladding refractive index difference, diameter fluctuations, strains and bubble, bubbles. So your May scattering is mainly due to the inhomogeneities in your fiber structure. Okay. So if uh, normally we have to uh, increase your core cladding index difference. So that will reduce your losses. Okay, that is a major factor. So here, if the del value is very, very small, that of course will cause more loss in your optical fiber. This applies when a wave travels through a medium having a wavelength comparable to the size of inhomogeneous. So this loss is mainly depends on the fiber material, design and manufacture. So it can be reduced by three major steps. First one is removing imperfections during your glass manufacturing process itself. Second one, you have to carefully control the fiber coating. And third one, increasing the fiber guidance by increasing the relative refractive index difference. So thus the three steps will reduce your scattering in the optical fiber communications. So thus we can conclude the scattering loss. So your scattering loss is mainly due to two major factors. One is composition fluctuation and second one is inhomogeneous or defects in your fiber material. So the scattering loss may be uh, two types of one is non-linear, another one is linear. Under linear, we have two types, Rayleigh and May scattering. So the Rayleigh scattering is commonly occurred due to the refractive index variation where May scattering is commonly occurred due to the inhomogeneous in your fiber material. And Rayleigh scatter, uh, in Rayleigh scattering loss, your light scattered in all direction, where in May scattering, it scatters either in a forward or a backward direction. So the Rayleigh scattering can be reduced by increasing the wavelength, where the May scattering we can reduce by removing the imperfections or by controlling the fiber coating material, and third one by increasing the refractive index difference. Thank you.